حرمت علیکم البیت عطا ناؤ دس از دی فائنل کمانڈمنٹ پروناؤنسمنٹ فرام قرآن وٹ ہی از ناٹ پرمیسیبل ٹو ایٹ نمبر ون المیتا دی اینیمل وچ ڈائز بائی اٹ سیلف نمبر ون میتا ڈیڈ کارس کارپس آف دی اینیملس وٹ دمو اینڈ نمبر ٹو بلڈ بلڈ از ان اٹ سیلف پروہبیٹڈ and that is the philosophy you know that in islamic way of slaughtering the animal you only cut the soft parts of the neck so that the big veins and arteries they are cut but don't cut this vertebral column because the spinal cord which is passing through it if it remains intact then there is the contraction in whole of the body all the muscles contract so that the whole of the blood of the of the animals is squeezed out But if you cut the whole neck, now because the spinal cord has been cut, now the contraction wouldn't take place. And the blood would remain in the clotted form in all the organs of the body. And because blood is haram, now this slaughtering is, has become haram. Now this animal you can't take. You have to slaughter it in the Islamic way. And that is called tazkiyah with zaal. One is tazkiyah with za. Tazkiyah. Tazkiyah to nafs, purification of the souls. And Tazkiyah with Zal means slaughtering in this way that the maximum blood out of the animal's body is squeezed. وَالدَّمُ وَالْحَمُ الْخِنزِيرِ And the meat, flesh of swine. وَمَا أُحِلَّ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ بِهِ And on which animal the name of anybody else except Allah has been invoked. Although it is goat or sheep, absolutely permissible, but the name of Allah has not been invoked on it when slaughtering, and you are doing also, you know, the, the ziba, the taskiyah in the proper Islamic way, but the name of somebody else has been taken, that somebody else can be some god or goddess, or the way he can be, you know, some awliya Allah. If you have taken the name of that person, not of Allah, it becomes haram. Walmunkhaniqatuh. Now there are four forms of dead animals which have been made clear so that there should be no doubt about it. an animal that dies of strangulation. For example, you have tied your, your goat to a peg with a rope. Somehow that rope comes round the neck of the goat and the goat, you know, she goat, it is it's strangled by its own rope and dies. Munkhaniqah. By strangulation. Well, Mawkuza. And killed by a blow. A blunt blow. And the animal is killed. Now what happened? The blood remains in, in the body. It has not been squeezed out. In the same way, Well, Natiha. You know, some killed by falling. Well, Mutaraddiya. Well, Mulkhaniqa, Well, Mawkuza, Well, Mutaraddiya, Mutaraddiya, Falling. Some animals, some goats, some sheep fell, fell from height and died. One natiha, some is gored by the horns of another animal. All these forms, when the animal is dead, but if you can find it alive and you can make ziba on it, then it will be okay. But if it had already dead, it is already dead. Maybe it is munkhaniqa due to strangulation. Maybe it is maqooza that is killed by falling. Mutaraddiya, Natiha, killed by a blow, or it may be Natiha, that is, you know, by goring. But all these forms of dead animals, you can't take the meat of it. It is haram. وَمَا أَكَلَ السَّبْعُ إِلَّا مَا زَكَّيْتُمْ In the same way, if a beast of prey has, you know, taken some deer or something or else, captured it, and it has eaten some part of it. Now, if you have reached that animal before his death, and you can make this taskiya on it, you can take the rest of the meat of that animal. But if the animal is already dead, now you can't eat the remaining part. You know, a lion or a tiger has captured a deer, and he has only, it has only eaten a part of it, and the rest is there. If you reach on this spot before the death of that animal, that deer, now you 
perform tazkiyah on it so that the blood is oozed out the rest of the flesh is permissible for you to eat but if it is already dead then you can't wama zubih ala nusub and which has been slaughtered on altars altars you know they used to be this is the altar for lat and uzza and, and you know hubul the people used to bring their animals there and then they wanted in a way they wanted to present it to the, their gods and goddesses but the same will be the case if you are taking the animal to the shrine of a dead waliullah but you want why why are you take have taken the animal there why have you not slaughtered it at home so it remember resembles the same thing so actually nusub will include that also wama zubiha ala nusub although it was goat or sheep or cow absolutely permissible although you perform tazkiyah on it and you have slaughtered it in the absolute islamic way and you have not taken the name of that waliullah or, or that you know devta or god or goddess bas but you have slaughtered it in the vicinity of that place why have you brought it here there is something wrong and that is shirk and that is also you know haram it is not permissible wan tastaqsimu bil azlam bil azlam in the same way they used to divide things by you know raffling arrows all these things because it becomes a sort of gambling arrows raffling and you know by that they making decisions zalikum fisq all these things are sinful acts al yawma yais alladhina kafaru min dinikum now because nearly the whole of the arabian peninsula had been captured and conquered by muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his companions by the time this surah was revealed so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying al yawma yais alladhina kafaru min dinikum these unbelievers have absolutely been disappointed about your deen now they can't hope that you know they can overpower you they can't hope that they can eliminate islam now they have reconciled to it and they had accepted it fala takhshawhum wakhshawni now there should be no fear of them in your hearts you should be able now you should have the full courage to say whatever is correct and whatever is wrong because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you the full strength and you have overpowered all the tribes of the arabian peninsula al yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati wa raditu lakum al-islam deena this ayah was revealed at the occasion of the last pilgrimage of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the 10th year after hijra but it was placed here you know why because this surah is the surah of covenant that is that is why although it was revealed later but it has been included in this surah This surah is the surah of covenant. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is taking the final covenant from the Muslim. Now I have completed my deen, and now it's, it's, we should have a handshake, and you have to abide by it forever. Now, deen has been completed. Al Yawm Akmal Tolakum Dinakum. This day I have completed for you your deen. The whole Sharia has been given to you. Watmam Tu Alaykum Nirmati, and I have made made. my blessing upon you that is also complete completed upon you my blessings wa raziitu lakum al islam adina and i have approved for you the al islam as the eternal deen this is the approved deen of allah subhanahu wa taala and we have found you know in surah al imran wa may yattabi may yattabi ghayra al islam deenan fala yuqbal min now whosoever accepts and takes to him another deen except islam it will not be acceptable to allah subhanahu wa taala from this day the only deen approved by allah subhanahu wa taala is islam raditu lakum al islam adina fa man isturra fi maqmasatin ghayra mutajannif li ismin whosoever is forced by hunger somebody you know is traveling and he has nothing he has found no hunting he couldn't find any food and now he finds a dead body of an animal and because he is going to die of hunger if that is the condition well he is allowed to take that mata the dead the 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 flesh of that dead animal he is allowed because now otherwise he will die faman is turra fi mahmasatin who has been forced to the extreme 
ڈیو ٹو ہنگر غیر متجان فل اسمن ود آؤٹ ہیونگ اینی انکلینیشن ٹوورڈس دیٹ سن یو مس یو شوڈ ہیو اینی انکلینیشن یو شوڈ ٹیک اونلی دیٹ پورشن آف اٹ دیٹ پارٹ آف اٹ وچ از اسینشیل فار یو ٹو کیپ اے لائف ناٹ مور دین دیٹ نمبر ون نمبر ٹو یو شوڈ بی ٹیکنگ اٹ ہیٹ فلی آئی ہیو ٹو ٹیک اٹ ٹو سیو مائی لائف آئی ڈونٹ لائک اٹ اٹ از ہرام اٹ از ناٹ پرمیسیبل سو دیز ٹو کنڈیشنس فی مخبس ات ان اٹ شوڈ بی ایکسٹریم یو نو کنڈیشن ان وچ ون از فورسڈ ون از فیسنگ ڈیتھ اف ہی ڈزنٹ ٹیک اینی تھنگ ناؤ وچ از ناٹ یو نو آل دو اٹ از ناٹ پرمیسیبل بٹ ہی اف ہی وانٹس ٹو سیو از لائف ہیز ٹو ٹیک اٹ غیر متجان فل لیس مین بٹ ہی شوڈ ناٹ ہیو اینی انکلینیشن ٹوورڈز اٹ ہی شوڈ بی ٹیکنگ اٹ ریگریٹ فلی ہیٹ فلی فائن اللہ غفور الرحیم سو دس از اے کنسیشن دیٹ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ہیز گیون یو بیکاز ہی از غفور ہی از فرگیونگ اینڈ ہی از رحیم ہی از برسی فل